live from my basement in Minnesota. Hey, I'm Kristen Hawkins, President of Students for Life America, and this is your Pro-Life Gen News for Tuesday, October 4th, live from my basement in Minnesota. Yesterday, we told you about the courageous student in Nebraska who stood up to her school administration when they refused to allow her to start a Students for Life club. Well, we delivered a demand letter. Uh, the phones have been ringing off the hook. Thank you for making phone calls. The school hasn't caved in yet, but everyone's coming to our defense in Nebraska, even the ACLU. So we want to encourage you, keep calling uh, because we know it's only a matter of time before they fold. Next time, these school administrators need to Google our name. Uh, a newly study, study published from the University of Copenhagen came out last night proving a definitive link between hormonal co contraceptives and depression. The study was done over 13 years with 1 million Danish women between, ages between 15 and 34, and they found definitive evidence of this link. Mood changes were one of the top reasons that women stopped taking the pill, but they were largely dismissed by their practitioners as, you know, just complaining because we're women. As soon as they, the research dropped last night, uh, you could tell online that everyone, all the pro-abortion folks were rushing to uh, dismiss these claims. Most of them were trying to discredit were those, those men who will never have to take a birth control pill, uh, partly because this long-term study showed that a male birth control pill would have what they called it uh, a negatively impact emotional well-being being of men. How ironic. I'm sure Planned Parenthood will also totally disregard the study as well because we know it interferes with their predatory business model. Speaking of Planned Parenthood's business, several studies from Harvard researchers have confirmed that Planned Parenthood's bottom line has been suffering. Shock. So field to tissue procurement companies offering to buy the baby body parts have been a golden opportunity, have been seen as a golden opportunity within the abortion industry. Representative, U.S. Representative Marsha Blackburn, who is chairing the special special panel on infant lives in the U.S. House of Representatives has given us really the inside scoop on the congressional investigation in the article linked in the description. They found that even though Planned Parenthood is paying millions of dollars in lobbying efforts, elections, slick PR campaigns to deny any profit from selling these baby body parts, uh, they have found repeated evidence where payments for body parts exceeded any reasonable cost uh, to procure those body parts. But the guilty parties are refusing to cooperate, um, even to go to Capitol Hill to testify. A couple weeks ago, Democrats uh, in the select uh, panel actually walked out of the investigation. Um, and just interesting, those are the same candidates who are also getting money from Planned Parenthood this election cycle. Something about the cycle of corruption. I think we're doing something on that called the psychocorruptiontour.com. Whatever. Uh, tonight is the vice presidential debate. Uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit more interesting than the presidential debate. I'm personally very excited to see my friend Governor Mike Pence up there debating. You know, he is the guy that wrote the bill to defund Planned Parenthood before it was even cool uh, to defund Planned Parenthood. Uh, so I'm very excited to see him on the big screen. These are the things that caught our eye today. Uh, make sure to give us a share to like all of our social media channels on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. I don't do it Snapchat. Whatever. Uh, by the way, I'm having a little competition with Missy Stone of Students for Life, so if you like my videos better, make sure you like them and share them more than hers.